I always smell them like fuel. So what we're gonna do is fill them like we can see it's leaking or well, have been leaking. Well, it's leaking at a point in time. You don't fill it up anymore, so. Uh, what we're gonna do is spoon bolt here. That holds this neck piece. This looks like the EVAP, something like that. This just clips out. Four screws back here, look like seven millimeter. Tens, four tens here. Let's take all those apart. Let's just slide this thing right out. And then we're gonna uh, take this gasket out. All right, all, all the screws out. So with this here, just pull this clip out all the way. It'll be easier. And this, everything on the back for eight. Or you could use. 5 16th. So, what you're gonna do is push this down and then uh, pull it out. And then you have access to the gasket and everything. Okay, so once this comes out, I'm gonna twist it so you can get a good angle on getting it out, like such. So, it's the best angle for me to pull it out. So, this is the comparison of the new and the old one. Should be pretty simple to put it in just put a little grease around the edge and turn it or try to turn it I'm not sure how much tension this is gonna have because it is new but yeah there's definitely a big difference as far as the seal on it this one is worn to uh, hell it's pretty pretty fresh so we're gonna put some grease on it spin it around and get it in there and then we're gonna redo the the liner on the trunk change uh sand this area down and uh put some rhino liner on it but yeah about to put everything back in all this pretty good it's connected back so you got the one screw here the eight millimeter four right there and then four tens over here so okay <laughs> so i'll put back together you can see i did another spray but it turned black eventually. They think we're back in. About to do a fill up, make sure it's not leaking. But, but nothing.